Good afternoon, Africa. Good afternoon, African Confessions. So, I am back with another episode. In this episode, I am going to share with you a message that I received. So, I received this message as a WhatsApp voice note. Then, it had to be translated. So, the message reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi. My husband is a pangolin that has been housed in our house for the past 38 years. This pangolin, it is not a natural animal, but it is an animal that my husband uses for his money-making rituals. As for me, my brother, I am just a simple woman. I am from Malawi, and I have one child who has a Down's syndrome. And my brother, this daughter of mine, is now 28 years old. My brother, when I married my husband, we used to live in the village. And my husband was a hunter. He was quite a very famous hunter in the region where we came from. So, when I got married to my husband, it was not because I had fallen pregnant for him or anything. I was still a virgin. But what happened is that, when I started dating this husband of mine, he would ask me each and every day. He would say to me, Are you a virgin? And I will answer him and I will say to him, Yes, I am a virgin. The next day, he would ask me again, Are you a virgin? Then I will reply and say, I am still a virgin. I did not know why he kept on asking me these questions. It was only after I had gotten married to him, that is when I realized that the only reason why he had gotten married to me, it was because he wanted to use me for his money-making rituals. So when me and my husband started dating, we had only dated for about two months, and he said to me that he wanted us to get married. But I said to him that it was impossible for us to get married because we had only known each other for such a short period of time. It had only been two months. I was not yet ready to settle down with him. I wanted to know his behavior first, his character first. But one day what he did to me, he asked me to come over to his house, saying that he wanted me to help him wash his clothes and to help him clean the house. So as my boyfriend, I went there. When I had finished washing the clothes, I went inside the house. That is when he followed me into the house and he told me that he wanted us to sleep together. I refused. I told him no. I would only lose my virginity when I would be married. But you know that there is no way to overcome the power of a man when he wants to have sexual intercourse with you. That is how me and my husband started staying together. After he had finished having sexual intercourse with me, what he did was quite surprising. He took a cloth, then he wiped his manhood, and then he wiped my private parts with that same cloth. He told me that I had to follow him outside, so I followed him outside. We went to a place where there was an ant hill. Then we knelt together by that ant hill. Then my husband started speaking with his ancestors. He was clapping as he spoke with his ancestors. He told the spirits that in this house he had now had a new wife. But he was just lying. He was not speaking with his ancestors at all. It was just a ritual that he was doing. He was dedicating me to a spiritual husband. But at that time, I didn't know that he had already made me a wife to this evil spirit. After a few months, my husband started hunting again and selling the meat. He made a lot of money from that bush meat that he had been selling, and he saved some money and paid my bridal price. We only stayed in the village for a year, and he saved enough money to buy a house in town and we started living in town one day when my husband had gone out hunting as usual he came back with a very small animal and he told me that this animal it was called a pangolin 
and he told me that this animal was very precious and he had to build a room for it. The reason why he wanted to build a house for this pangolin, he told me that he was scared that maybe one day you will be robbed because he said that if you sell this animal, you will get a lot of money. At this time, I didn't have a child yet with him and he didn't want me to have a baby with him. The reason why I couldn't have a child with him was that whenever he would have sexual intercourse, what my husband will do is that when he was about to ejaculate, he would pull out his manhood out of me. Then he would ejaculate on the blankets. But what would surprise me is that if I were to look on the blankets, I'll see that all the sperms will just disappear. And I think that his oath could not allow him to have any children. Because me and him, we lived for about 10 years together without a child. To prove to you that my husband is a ritualist, there is no other job that he does expect for hunting. But the kind of money that he made from hunting is so much money. My brother, I then got pregnant for my husband. And when I told him, I was so surprised that he was not happy. The day that I told him that, honey, I am pregnant for you, he started crying. He cried and he shouted at me saying that, why have you done this to me? I am not ready to be a father. I was shocked because when I looked at our situation, we were rich enough to take care of our family and also we were ready enough to have a child together. But anyway, I carried my child for nine good months. But for nine good months, my husband did not even have any sexual intercourse with me. For nine months, I never knew anything called sex. What my husband will do is that he would go into that room where he had built for his pangolin. Then he would sleep in that room. My husband slept in that room with his pangolin for nine months until I gave birth. But when I gave birth to my daughter, I then realized that my daughter was born with Down's syndrome. I was in pain, yet my husband kept on shouting and saying that, Did you see it? Did you see what you have done? This is the reason why I didn't want to have a child with you in the first place. My brother, my child is now all grown up, but the problem that I am now facing is that I am a wife to this spiritual husband that my husband dedicated me to. This pangolin is like my husband now. Whenever it feels like this pangolin just comes to me, then it will start to have sexual intercourse with me. It doesn't matter during the day, at night, any time. And if I refuse to have any sexual intercourse with this pangolin, it will beat me up. If you were to look at my body, I have scars all over my body from the beating that I receive from this pangolin. I am so tired, my brother. This pangolin can have sexual intercourse with me anytime, whenever it feels like. My husband told me that he has never loved me. He told me these words this other day when me and him we were having an argument. He told me that I never loved you and you are from Malawi. My husband is from Zimbabwe. He told me that I should be happy because when I came to Zimbabwe, I was still a young woman. He told me that I should be glad. I should be glad that when I came to Zimbabwe, I got married to him. He told me that it is so much better. He told me that it is so much better to have sexual intercourse with an animal. But at the end of the day, you will be rich. Whenever I tell him that I am tired of this situation, he points at all the riches that he has and he will tell me that, is it not better that you are living a good life? What is so special about having sexual intercourse with an animal that will bring you money in the house? He once told me that if I ever try to look for help, I will die. But my brother, I am already dead because I am tired of having sexual intercourse with this pangolin. 
me and my child, we tried so many times to run away and to leave his house. But whenever we try to run away from that house, that pangolin will just see that it will be standing right there in front of us. Wherever that I go, that pangolin follows me. Help me, my brother. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received as a WhatsApp a voice note, and it had to be translated. Strange things do happen in this world. Let's meet again in the following episodes.